Hi everyone, I'm Michael from TBG Interior Design. Today we are here at Fernvale Link to bring you in to our newest completed project. Now this house is based on the 60s, 70s design theme and as you can see right next to me, it starts from the gate where we have the classic Caesars foldable gate. So come on in where we show you how the house looks like. So this is the main entrance area where the elements of the 60s, 70s starts from here. So you can see the main door, we have overlaid with laminate to add on to the vibe of the whole field. And next to it is where the usual shoe cabinets are and it has been done and designed in such a way that the DB cabinet is all integrated inside and concealed nicely. The laminate of this uh, shoe cabinet was chosen in such a way that it provides a metallic look with a rustic feel to add on to the whole flavour. Now to add a bit of quirkiness to the whole design, we have a metal vault door. Now this is specially indented and imported from overseas where it conceals the storeroom. Well, as you can see, the owner with his close association to the Army series, had put up quite a nice sticker onto the door. And on top of it, we didn't waste any space. We also put up storage compartments. And to maximize the space, you know, we add on more shoe storage area. We are at the living room area, the elements of which, you know, one of it will be this white brick wall, where if you remember, 60s, 70s walls are as such, and again, true to the owner's preference, we have a bit of quirkiness to the whole area with this neon signage. And of course, the black piping, where it is thought to be industrial style, but you know, in 60s, 70s, electrical pipings are like that. While over here, we also have the classic bamboo blind in the classic black and white colour to add on to the whole vibe. We are here at the study room where it's converted from a bedroom by hacking away the walls but we give the privacy by having a fixed panel with a black frame and giving a picturesque view of the living room. We also created a latch for the owners to display his items. For added privacy, we also have the folding door. We use the laminate that matches the shoe cabinet to give the kind of rustic 60s, 70s feel. And for the walls, we prepare it for the owners to place his movie posters. So let's proceed on to the dining and kitchen area. At the dining, as you can see, we have done up the cement script floor and the cement script wall. But the wall is done up using an effect painting rather than true cement script. You have a cement script look, but not the maintenance. As we go on to the kitchen, we have put the mosaic tiles on the floor to give it the classic 60s, 70s look. As we move along, the whole kitchen cabinet is in a woody feel with a classic subway tiles backsplash to form up the whole feel, whole vibe of the 60s and 70s. The walls, you know, as if the whole house, is also in the cement street effect. So we have the kitchen yard where we converted it to a balcony area where the owner can sit down and chill at looking at the rooftop garden. Next to the balcony, we have the common toilet where we reposition the opening from the corridor to the kitchen side. The inside of the toilet, we use the classic squarish and mosaic tiles for the 60s, 70s view. And for an added modern touch to it, we have the wall-mounted toilet bowl not commonly seen in most HDB flats. So let us move on to the master bedroom. But before that, this was where the original toilet opening was and we seal it up to allow the owner to place his posters to give it a refreshed look to the area. And as you notice, on top of the bedroom doors, we have the ventilation block that gives it a 60 70 feel to the whole place. So this is the master bedroom. 
And first up, we have the master bedroom toilet, where it's designed with the 60s, 70s feel again, with some modern touches added onto it. We have the wall hung toilet bowl and a nice little bathtub. Next to the master bedroom toilet, in the queen little corner, is where the wardrobe dressing area is. Notice the classic drop down single bulb to give a nice touch to the whole 60s, 70s feel of the area. So this is the sleeping area for the owner where we keep things simple and not too cluttered. If not, when they sleep, they'll be quite disoriented. If you like what you've just seen, remember to contact us, TBG Interior Design.